And the Newcastle Knights will have the advantage of this very strong wind at their backs. As Triester comes away from dummy half, brings in his second row, and he's taken very high. Manson will move in. In fact, everyone moves in. See Paul Harrigan here with a big swing here right arm. Ooh, wow. Could be very lucky here, the Newcastle captain. And Harrigan over the top. They're inside the 10 metres, says referee David Manson. So there'll be a quick tap to Green. He picks up a quick 10 metres and they move it left through Peachy. This is Donaghy. Donaghy makes the break. He's got a man inside. Does he use him? Yes, he does. He'll go all the way. The Sharks will score. That's Richie Barnett. That's the perfect beginning to the home side. And a real shocker for Newcastle. Paul Green there. He's done that this season. Good footwork. They go wide through Peachy and it's Donaghy there. The big right-hand fend. Creates, he's, he's been so strong on that side of the field, turning the ball back inside, and that's just a great start there for Barnett scoring. It was beautifully picked up by Richie Barnett, who, as we know, has had uh, injury problems this year, broken collarbone, of course. But what a wonderful hands to him. But, but of course, it, one thing we might see tonight is that the Cronulla centres running at young Matt Gidley, and we saw him there fall off a tackle. Yeah, I mean, speaking to some of the Reese's players last week, they were saying how strong Paul Donahue is. Put that down also to the quick thinking of Paul Green. He realised rather than ship for the Sharks. This is Harrigan, Whoa. with a big charge there. The man from dummy half will just look around and see who his runners are. Goes through green. They work the left again through Donaghy. Donaghy broke through two tackles. He'll look around for his support. Will he run around Craigie? He tries to get the ball inside, and this is Barnett, and Barnett will go over in the corner. Whoa. Barnett picks up his second try. Paul Green, he's seeing the chance there. Offloading here now, and Donaghy too strong there for Gidley and Albert. And also the pace down the left wing there. Good footwork in and away on Owen Craigie. And then almost Craigie gets him over the touchline. But what about the inside ball there? And Peachy again there, like a classic winger, following up for the try. That's a last week. Well, <laughs> Malcolm really not happy at all. <laughs> Doesn't... It didn't even make the 10 meter line. It comes for Johns. He goes high. What will the wind do for this? It's swirling around. Rogers under it. Well taken. He was under pressure, Matt Rogers. In fact, he's still going, Matt Rogers. He's looking around for support. He won't need it at the moment. He'll play the ball. They need him in the postseason. Tungatata met in a strong tackle there. Matthew Johns. He's coming back to the blind. Twists and turns. And was Matt, it has, yes, it has, mate. The wind's still there, of course. But uh, I've been impressed with uh, Newcastle. They've really put some pressure on Cronulla. But Cronulla's defence has had all the answers. Here's Matt Rogers taking advantage of a kick that's come back with the wind. It's still the last tackle as Matt Rogers kicks ahead. Outside him, he's got Alan Bateman. And Bateman could be up on Craigie, but Craigie gets around him. And the touch judge is in. Matt Rogers is the man down as Matt Rogers he went to kick ahead and the high shot there is from Keith Beecham Mitch Healy will line this up and he kicks his ninth goal of the year Green goes himself he'll score under the posts Paul Green dummied he stepped Great ball here, and Paul Green and Paul Donner here, probably been the two standout players in the game so far. He's speed off the mark, he's turned so many players inside so far in the game, and I think that's probably what the Knights were looking at on that occasion. Two players go inside and he takes off, gets on the outside of Adam Muir, good right foot step, and Owen Craig. This conversion. And from 10 metres out, kicks it. Running from dummy half. I think the train is going to be sent off here. Don't see this too often, but sometimes the trainers do spend a ridiculous amount of time on the ground. And this time, uh, referee David Manson has just got sick of it. You see him there almost in it, dummy half. <laughs> Greenhill. They're coming left. Green again. The inside ball. Peachy will score. Well, he can thank the Wren for that. He just slid over the line. That's another nail in the coffin. A big hole just opened up on the inside. 
Uh, Paul Green to be able to pass it backwards whilst running forwards to your left. Great skill there for any player, and the hole just opened up. Newcastle not filling in in the hole there across the uh, back of the rook. They trail by 20 points to nil. 22 points to nil. Scored four tries. And Newcastle, of course, really, they've yet to make one clean break. The touches just come on again in back play. As you can see at the bottom of your screen there, the ball is still going. In fact, they could come up with a try here, the Cronulla Sharks. No, eventually referee David Manson has called them back. His touch judges in. And that was a very promising move. Well, Lee Jackson and Craig Greenhill exchanged a few punches. Well, Greenhill objected to Jackson. Jackson objected to Greenhill, and then it was all on. And really, Craig Greenhill, at this stage of the season, doesn't need to do that. Another inside ball, Matthew Johns beaten. You know, just to haul him out for the last few minutes. Last tackle as Johns goes to the boot. It's swirling in this breeze. Peachy under it. And will Craigie come up with a try? No, he won't. It's a knock on. There from Johns and Peachy. One of the surface under the high ball. The wind just going away from it at the last minute. And Craigie being deemed to knock on the. Any Lee. Oh, doesn't the crowd love that? They're on their feet at the moment. And why wouldn't they be? Because that's full time here at Shark Park. David Manson blows full time. And the Cronulla Sharks have won by 22 points to nil. Exactly the same score that their reserve grade won their game.